Recently, Trump loving lawyer, Sidney Powell had to sit down for a deposition in the dominion voting systems, defamation lawsuit against her, where she was grilled by the lawyers for the plaintiffs. And the specific plaintiff, by the way, is Eric Coomer, an executive with Dominion Voting Systems. He's the one who's filed the lawsuit. And both Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani actually had depositions recently. Two separate things, but they both had their depositions separately revolving around their own defamation cases. And Sidney Powell, according to reports, admitted during her deposition that she didn't bother to check and see if any of this stuff was true because she felt according to what it says in this deposition, that the truth wasn't material to the inquiry. This, I mean, she said exactly that didn't seem to be the material part of the inquiry because she was asked specifically by Coomer's lawyer, you had the ear of a number of conservative media outlets. Why did you not uh, ask to provide a statement correcting the misstatements that you had reported? That didn't seem to be the material part of the inquiry because she admitted uh, a lot of specific knowledge about what Mr. Coomer sp uh, personally did. Uh, we don't have any info on any of that. So she admits that she made these claims. She admitted that she had no evidence to back them up and then asked, okay, but then you knew they were false. Why didn't you go out there and correct the record? She's like, well, I, I didn't think the truth mattered, <laughs> right? I mean, come on. Uh, she's toast. And so is Rudy Giuliani because the statements from Rudy Giuliani from his deposition are actually even worse than what we just heard from Sidney Powell. I have to read some of these. <laughs> they were asking him, by the way, you know, about these claims that he made. Anyway, he says, sometimes I go and look myself online when stuff comes up this time. I, I didn't have the time to do it. It's not my job in a fast moving case to go out and investigate every piece of evidence that's given to me. Uh, otherwise you're never going to write a story. You're never going to come to a conclusion. Uh, Rudy, I have worked in a law firm for over 17 years now. I have interviewed some of the best lawyers in this country, uh, that are all part of the trial lawyer hall of fame. And I can tell you that not a single one of them would ever go out there and make a claim either in a courtroom or in the media, if they didn't have the evidence to back it up, when they get information about a case, do you know the first thing that good lawyers do, Rudy and Sydney, they sit down, they look through documents and they build the case. They find evidence. They talk to experts who can help explain the evidence. And this is all before anything happens. They're not going out there in the media, making wild accusations. Do you know why? Because they know they'll get hit with a defamation lawsuit when they can't back it up. They study, they learn, they research, they validate, they verify, they verify, they verify every single thing so that they can make an airtight case. And then they go to trial. These two lawyers, and I use that term loosely because they're an absolute embarrassment to the legal profession, decided to take information that Rudy admitted at one point he found it on Facebook. Like he just saw people putting it on Facebook and that's where he got it from. And they didn't vet it. They didn't research it. They didn't fact check any of it. Both Giuliani and Sidney Powell admitted that in their depositions. You're done. Like you both are absolutely going to lose these lawsuits that have been filed against you. Honestly, after reading through what's available from these depositions, I don't see any possible path to victory for either of these individuals. And of course I have to imagine that if Dominion wins against Sidney Powell and then they win against Rudy Giuliani, there is no way in hell that my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell stands a chance of winning his lawsuit because he came out with the same claims as these other individuals. And he's actually gone far more extreme, you know, which is saying a lot because Giuliani and Powell were the ones who, you know, pushed the Hugo Chavez's ghost story with Dominion. He's going to lose too. You know, I'm really glad we finally get to see 
what these, uh, essentially their defense arguments are. And they're absolutely pathetic. And again, no doubt in my mind whatsoever that Sidney Powell is going down, that Rudy Giuliani is going down and that my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell is also going to go down in flames. They have no arguments. They've admitted they didn't vet the information. They went out there and said it anyway. And then of course, the biggest part of this for defamation, once they realized it was false, which clearly they're admitting behind the scenes, by the way, that's also a big tell, uh, and something the media should report on when these people are saying publicly, no, the election was stolen privately. They're like, yeah, we know that it wasn't anyway. Once they knew it wasn't true, they had the opportunity to go out there, issue corrections, issue retractions on the same media outlets. They made the claims and they didn't do it. That is how these, uh, plaintiff's lawyers are probably going to be able to prove actual malice, which means dominion is going to be getting a lot of money from these Trump supporters very soon.